Hey guys, it's Jump Beauty Ride X, and today we're talking about what I think are really underrated products. It's products that I love and I never hear anybody talk about them. Now I'm sure some people do talk about these things, but I haven't seen those people, so there you go. So if you hear the voice of a sweet child or George Clooney, then you either hear my daughter or the fantastic Mr. Fox. All right, so the first thing is by CYO. This is the Long Lasting Foundation, and then it says Life Proof. My friend Allie sent me this, and it blew my fucking mind. She's like, I want you to try it. You know, I want to see if you like it or not. We tend to like the same things. Oh my God, it was amazing. The fact that it said Long Lasting and Life Proof made me think it was going to be like a matte heavy foundation. No. No, no, no. It's as light as like a BB cream. It has really good, like probably medium coverage, I would say, like a good medium. And it was very like luminous looking. But even when I said it, like I looked like I had like a glow to me, if that makes sense. It looked really healthy. And I, it was amazing. I'm pretty sure the shade range is shit. Allie, correct me if I'm wrong, if you remember. But I mean, it's really affordable. I think you can get it through Walgreens. I don't think they have it in stores, but it's like through Walgreens you can get it. That's where she got it. So totally worth a try if you can find a shade that matches you. The next is from BH Cosmetics and this is their eye lights. I never hear anybody talk about these. I guess they're kind of reminiscent of, I mean, everybody does these things nowadays. So I mean, you know, whatever. But this is in the shade Fresh. It has the best like warm duochrome. It's, it's like gold and then like violet and it just has all these different facets to it and it's it's amazing. It's great for like inner corner and the glitter is like microscopic. It's not fucking chunky. Like it's, it's beautiful. It's, and it's also got green in it, which is like probably my favorite part. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I mean, it's amazing on the eye and it's any color you put it on top of makes that color look incredible. Like it's crazy. The next is the Revolution Strobe Highlighters. I've been using these for years. I never hear anyone talk about them. And if you like out of this universe highlighters, you need to go get one of these. I mean, they're unbelievable. These rival any, any high-end highlighter. I'm pretty sure they have like 10 different ones to pick from. I'm not a holographic fan, like I'm just not. I don't like those kind of tones for highlighters, but they have a holographic one called Holographic Lights. It's like a duochrome, like greenish, and it's my favorite one from this line. Like they're incredible. This is in magnitude. Northern Lights is probably one of my favorite. Like they're all my favorites. Like there's not one of them that isn't good. They're incredible. All right, the next are the LA Colors blushes. I mean, besides the fact these are cheap as shit, they have the most fun colors. And I know a lot of people are scared of colored blush. Like, I used to be, I would only wear like nudie pinks and oh my God. Holy life-changing when you start trying colored bright blushes. It gives you the most beautiful, healthy glow to your skin you didn't know existed. So I have the shades and I have all the shades, I think. I think I have, I don't have one which is just kind of dark. This is to the max and it's just this great pink. And it's not, and like even when you swatch it, it's not crazy scary. It builds really well, but it's still, for what it is, it's really pigmented. I got these at Family Dollar. And then the next one is what I'm wearing today and it's like totally. And it's just the perfect nudie pink. But I mean, they have like an orangey coral that's incredible. It's incredible, go find one. The next is the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. And I got this when I try, when I did a, like using highly rated makeup from Amazon. And I was hoping to find a dupe for my Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer, which is one of my favorite bronzers. And it has like a little bit of a satin finish to it, but it's not like glittery or anything. This is magnificent. I'm wearing it today. I mean, this again, gives you such a beautiful, healthy luminance to the skin, like this sun kissed kind of look. It's beautiful. It's really finely milled. It blends really, really nice. It's not overly, not shiny, like it's not overly shimmery. Like for a finger swatch it probably is, but you're not using it like this. We're using it with a brush that will blend it into your skin. It's beautiful. And I don't know why more people don't talk about it. The next is a brand that is probably most popular at being found at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or maybe Ross or something like that. It's the W7. I think this is a European brand if I'm not wrong. If I have any European watchers right now. Let me know if this is like a drugstore brand over where you live. But for here, I find a lot of these at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And this is the Neutrals on Ice. I mean, 
clearly it's subculture and soup. This is a beautiful palette. I'm flabbergasted at how nice this is. Now again, I'm like, usually like your swatches are bullshit and they are, but I just want to show you anyway because this is just really good. Like the, the shadows are very pigmented. They blend really nice. They're not overly pigmented. Like I didn't get the subculture palette because there was just too much like ish about it and I didn't want to pay the full price. And I know you can go and get it at, for half the price at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but you can't return anything there really. And you definitely can't return makeup there, I don't think. So I'm not even gonna bother wasting 25 bucks because if it sucks, then I'll be pissed but I figured this was a good dupe to try and it's really good. The mattes are really nice. The metallics are really nice. It's a very nice palette. I use it all the time. Every day I use at least one color from this palette. It was $5.99, $5.99, stop. And I know I, I talk about them a lot. So if you hear about them a lot, it's probably from me, but I don't hear many people talk about Profusion and they really should because it's an amazing brand. You can find it at Target. You can find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. None of their palettes are over like $10. Now I'm lying. Maybe, maybe there are like their like bundle palettes, but either way, this is their chocolates palette. I have like six of their palettes. Oh my God. Like the Siennas were my fav was one of my favorite palettes last year. It's like the all warm red one. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch some for you because I'm that excited about it. Oh my god, these greens are just crazy. I mean, so stunning. This is a beautiful neutral palette. I love, I love that they added greens. And you just don't see enough greens in palettes. I guess I have a theme here with the <laughs> with these two. But I mean Seriously, if you haven't tried Profusion, go to Target, go to TJ Maxx, go to Marshalls, pick up something. They have smaller ones too. They're amazing. All right, so that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below if you've tried any of these things or if you use something at home that is so incredible but you never hear anyone talk about it, I'd love to know and try it for myself. So make sure you tell me in the box below and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.